Welcome Leo, Sun, Rising, and Venus, your November 2021 love reading. I'll be taking a look at your person's energies. This can be anyone that you're thinking about dealing with or connecting with. And then towards the end, I'll be taking a look at singles looking for new love. All right, Leo. Please keep in mind this will not resonate with all of you. Feel free to check your other placements. Okay. Let's see. What's up with this person on Leo's mind? Well, that was pretty quick. What's up with this person on Leo's mind? What are their energies surrounding Leo? <clears throat> okay. So under the deck, you have, I changed my mind. So your person has changed their mind about something. Okay, a lot of change going on here because right under that is change in the air. Okay. And the cards that came out here, I'm a private person, bad at love, and good news. Okay. So it looks like the person you're thinking about, Leo, they are very private. Okay. Maybe this person doesn't say much or they're very mysterious. I'm really picking up that energy. And maybe in the past they've had bad experiences in love. So they're kind of like confused as to like how to love or you know, that type of vibe. But there is good news coming when it comes to this person. So let's go ahead and take a further look using the tarot. <clears throat> also, guys, I am recovering from a really bad cold. So if I sound a little funny, <clears throat> it's because of that. <laughs> let's go ahead and see. How is this person viewing you, their feelings and actions? How is this person currently viewing Leo? How is this person currently viewing Leo? <clears throat> What are their feelings for Leo? And what action does this person plan on taking towards Leo? I actually want to take one more for how this person is viewing you. Okay. Leo, how this person is viewing you? The answer is yes and metamorphosis. Viewing you as someone they still have passion for. Okay, red, orange reminds me of passion, a lot of love here. So I feel like this person still has feelings for you, okay? And actually, I think a lot of feelings. Maybe they haven't revealed this to you. Again, they are a private person. Maybe they're waiting for the right time or for, you know, for things to unfold more naturally here. But with the metamorphosis card, I feel like this person is viewing you as going through some type of change, going through a transformation, basically. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify. Let's see, how is this person viewing Leo, please? How is this person viewing Leo? <clears throat> How is, whoa, okay. How is this person viewing Leo? How is this person viewing Leo? Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles with the High Priestess and the Page of Cups. You could be connecting with a Pisces here very strongly or a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. <clears throat> But I see, I feel like this person is viewing you working on your finances, okay? Trying to build yourself, trying to um, basically just working a lot, working a lot, working maybe on yourself, on your, on your career, on your goals, all that kind of stuff. They also are viewing you as a very intuitive person, okay? Very intuitive. Like you're starting to see things really clearly now. It's really weird. Yeah, that's the type of vibe I'm getting. But with the Page of Cups... Like, this is a very small offer, okay? Or there could be a simply an age difference here. It does not have to be. Um, this person may be younger, especially if they're a water sign. But what I'm feeling is that they're viewing you as someone who's offering just bits and pieces of love here, okay? Not too much to the point where, like, it overwhelms. But it's like you're, you're slowly coming towards them. Let's put it that way. Um, let's see. Give me one more. How is this person viewing Leah? How is this person viewing Leah? Star, yeah, you might be connected with an Aquarius here. So this person does view you as someone who's very special to them. Someone they think about, someone they wish for. I feel like they truly care about you here, okay, Leo? But their feelings for you... I just shuffle this really quick. Grief. Okay, so I feel like this person is having some type of grief when it comes to you. Let's go ahead and clarify what this is about before I say anything. What is this person's feelings for Leo? Current feelings for Leo. What is this person's current feelings for Leo? The hangman, more Pisces energy. The six of wands in reverse. Ooh, okay. 
The Page of Swords in reverse. Give me two more. What is this person's feelings? Justice and the Magician in reverse. Okay. You could, this could be someone who's feeling restless over you, to be quite honest, Leo. I don't know what happened between you two in the past, or I don't know what's going on here. I feel like there's an important decision that has to be made when it comes to this person. I mean, let me know in the comment box below. Again, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but this person is kind of in their head right now, trying to find answers within themselves, okay? But the interesting thing is that they're focusing more on the negative, Again, maybe because this person feels like they're bad at love, it's kind of in a way they're manifesting that, okay? They're, they're thinking negative here. It's, it's like they have feelings for you. They care about you and everything here, Leo, but it's kind of like they're expecting the worst, okay? Which is like a little bit of negative thinking here, to be quite honest. They're not being very... They're creating stories in their head that doesn't even exist, to be quite honest, I feel like this person wants things to be balanced with you. I think they do want commitment with you here, Libra energy. They do things, they do want things to be balanced here. They're not expressing this to you. Maybe this person's not communicating as much, or maybe it's very wishy-washy in and out. This person may also be observing you very carefully here, okay? Observing your actions, you know, your words, seeing what you're up to on social media. Yeah, a little bit of stalker energy here. But I don't know what it is. Something happened here that caused this causing this person to have some type of grief. Could be past traumas when it comes to love, to be quite honest, or something that happened with you that is making them feel some type of negative way. But for to be quite honest, I feel like this person has had a rough past, especially in love, where it's kind of making them like question everything. I do see them going within to find answers or to get some type of clarity when it comes to you. I think they're just scared, to be quite honest with you. They're scared of that this may not work out. They're scared of rejection. They're scared of, of love, as sad as that sounds. Give me one more. Clarify here their feelings for Leo. This person's feelings for Leo. The Six of Swords in reverse, this person may be at a distance. Someone that maybe there was an ending with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, the Aquarius energy. Yeah, this person may be at a distance for some of you, okay? If not, then you guys have been distant. But there was some type of ending here. Maybe a, this involved marriage, commitment, lovers. Yeah, definitely a separation. Sun card in reverse. Oh, yeah. There might have been some type of ending or separation between you two, which is causing them to have some type of grief. You may have been connected with another Leo, maybe Taurus, Gemini, okay? Pisces, but it's like this person is scared to like confront the situation or they're scared of like, it's like they can't fully move away from you, but they're not fully coming towards you correctly. It's so weird, but they do have feelings for you. They do still are very much grieving over you and wanting to be with you here. Let's go ahead and move on to the action. Surrender. So eventually this person will be surrendering. Okay, let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Why is surrender here for the action this person plans on taking towards Leo? Two of Pentacles. The Hermit. Virgo energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. In the near future, I see them weighing the pros and cons when it comes to this connection or relationship, okay? I do see them surrendering, though, coming forward towards you, expressing some type of love with the Queen of Cups, but they're going to do this when they have some type of clarity within themselves, when they get some type of aha moment, okay? Give me two more. Actually, this person plans on taking. There might have been some juggling here between you two. It does not have to be. This could simply mean the person weighing the pros and cons. Yeah, this person's going to communicate. You could be connecting with a younger Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A lot of pages here. Okay, this person could be a younger water, air, or fire sign. But I do see uh, this person coming forward asking to see if you want to reconcile or work things out. Okay. Some of you may decide to not want to reconcile and move away from the connection. That's only for some of you, maybe 30% of you. This person is going to come forward offering you some type of love, wanting to reconcile, wanting to get together, work things out. 
and maybe even discuss a third party that happened. That's only for some of you here. But I do see this person communicating, coming in forward towards you. This person might even show up at your house, okay? Or somewhere where you go frequently. Action this person plans on taking. Give me one more. Hmm, yeah, Knight of Wands. So maybe this is someone who's very in and out. Maybe that's why you're going to reject this person here. Leo, um, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. <clears throat> but I feel like... There is going to be an opportunity to reconcile here, but I feel like the decision will be yours, to be quite honest. Because someone here is very in and out, inconsistent. The consistent here, consistency here is off. There might have been drama between you two in the past. So I feel like maybe the good news is that if some of you are looking to reconcile, it is coming here. Okay, it is coming. But again, some of you, very few of you here are not wanting to reconcile because this person is not consistent, or maybe something happened in the past, or this is just very in and out energy. Let's go ahead and move on to singles. Who is coming to towards Leo singles? Who is coming towards Leo singles, please? Leos that are single, looking for new love. Who is coming towards Leo singles, please, November? November. <clears throat> okay, I see travel for you. Okay, you might meet someone at a distance for some of you with the three of wands. A hangman in reverse. I see you over. Th oh, okay. Okay, Leos, this is for some of you, 10% of you. If you're already in a relationship, some of you have been thinking about ending it. Okay, that's for only for some of you, very few of you. Because it has you restless, it has you feeling kind of annoyed, to be quite honest. With the Page of Wands, I see you meeting someone younger than you or maybe someone who's very spontaneous, very fun, very outgoing. I love this energy, okay? Page of Wands with the Aries Leo Sagittarius. Could be a fixed sign as well with the World card, but I see travel for you with the Three of Wands and the World card. And also I see a completion, no longer going back to the past and closing a cycle, okay? So let's go ahead some more. You might meet this person when you travel for some of you. Yeah, Six of Wands. I see some good news coming your way. You're going to be receiving some good news here. If you've been waiting to hear from someone, I see that happening here. Yeah. You're going to be receiving some good news, either from someone from the past um, that you've been wanting to hear from, or if you've been wanting to reconcile or something around those lines. Whatever good news that you've been... Like, Spirit is telling me, any, whatever good news you've been waiting to hear, Leo, it's coming. It's coming this month, and it's going to be going in your favor. The chariot, yeah, very fast moving energy. It's going to happen very quickly, unexpectedly. For a lot of you, I see travel here. A lot of traveling. Someone else got a similar message. I forgot who. Two of Pentacles, you might, mean, might need to make a decision between two things, two locations, two people, okay? So just be on the lookout for that. Some of you are thinking about moving as well here. Um, yeah, Ace of Wands, new love. Wow, Aries Leo Sagittarius. You may be meeting a strong Aries, someone with strong Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in their chart. So keep that in mind and or Cancer, okay? But I definitely see you walking away from something here in the near future in November. With, whether it's a person, a relationship, a location, something around those lines. And I see someone who's very charismatic, someone with possibly long hair. They like to wear skirts. Okay, if they're a woman, if they're a man, this could be someone who, you know, likes to wear t-shirts, like plain t-shirts, like jeans and something around those lines but i feel like for those of you uh some of you yeah i don't know if long hair some of you have long hair watching this like i'm i'm like blonde like a light like a blondish light brown hair maybe even dark brown hair but it's like long and it's like in layers okay i don't know that's a significant message for some of you it's definitely i see new love coming here for you leo very passionate as well very, very passionate. Some of you may hook up when you travel as well. I have to throw that out there. Yeah, some of you may meet someone and you're going to instantly feel a connection with them. And it's, yeah, just, you know, just on the lookout for that. <laughs> yeah, I see new beginnings for you, okay? Those of you looking for a new love, a new, something new, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming in quick here. And I feel like you're going to, you're going to, sorry, I totally just slammed that in the camera. But I see victory here for you, okay? Some of you may be go, uh, wanting to learn how to surf or go surfing as well or just go near waters. I feel like for some of you, the water really relaxes you or you love really being close to the water, okay? All right, Leo, this was your love reading for November 2021. 
uh, well for the remaining days here i hope you enjoyed it if it did not resonate feel free to check your other placements thank you to all my subscribers who continue to love and support my channel if you haven't already like comment share subscribe hit that notification bell and i will see you soon take care bye bye